Trump doesn't like it. It is embarrassing. Say what you like. It's embarrassing for uh, Donald Trump to be tried in a criminal court. It is five minutes past six o'clock. Like Odysseus on his long and dramatic journey back from Troy. Hope you're with me on this one. Our hero or anti-hero, Donald Trump, has been steering his ship around courtrooms across America, fighting prosecuting cyclops and resisting the siren calls of Stormy Daniels. <laughs> In the latest case, Mr. Trump has won a skirmish, it seems. The bond figure in his fraud case has been cut from nearly half a billion dollars to just 175 million, a figure he apparently can afford. But his criminal trial over hush money given to the adult film star Stormy Daniels will begin on April the 15th. As ever, the question with American politics is, what on earth is going on? <laughs> Sarah Baxter is director of the Mary Colvin Centre for International Reporting. There's been a surreal moment in court for Donald Trump because he was just about hearing that his extraordinary punitive damages for um, inflating the value of this Trump business empire had suddenly been reduced and miraculously he wouldn't have to go bankrupt or his properties wouldn't be seized. Now, initially, he was uh, ordered to pay uh, over $450 million, uh, which is a huge sum, even for uh, a man as wealthy as Donald Trump, to pay as a fine for business misbehavior. Now, this was cut to £175 million, which I would be hard-pressed to find, mm. but uh, Trump uh, appears to regard as a huge reprieve, and it does mean he will be able to meet his bond for this case in order to appeal what he calls, of course, a witch hunt against him. So that's the fraud case. So it was going to be a real problem for him to, to pay this 450. It's gone to 175 million. He can find a way of paying that. And on the same day, the criminal case, the first ever criminal trial of a former US president is set to go ahead on April the 15th. That involves Stormy Daniels and the adult film star. Explain that one to us. The thing to remember is that this is the first criminal trial of a former president in history. Now, Donald Trump is alleged to have paid hush money to Stormy Daniels to stay quiet over a purported affair, which he denies, which took place a very long time ago uh, when Melania was pregnant with son Barron, who has just turned 18, by the way. But of course, it wasn't that long ago. It was just before the 2016 election when Trump was alleged to have paid hush money to Stormy Daniels to stop her blabbing about this affair, alleged affair, and um, affecting the outcome of the election. So this is a criminal trial brought by the district attorney in Manhattan, Alvin Bragg, and he's. some people are saying he's overreaching, that this case is not that significant, it's not a criminal case, it's really at most a sort of misdemeanor, a civil matter. On the other hand, Trump sought to have it delayed and delayed, but it is going ahead. And Trump doesn't like it. It is embarrassing. Say what you like. It's embarrassing for uh, Donald Trump to be tried in a criminal court. But at the same time, his campaign is making plans to take advantage of this. They've got all kinds of ideas about how to hold press conferences in Trump Tower while he's going to court to face trial. They are going, apparently the latest thing that uh, Trump aides want to organize is a huge rally, a big show of support for Trump in Madison Square Gardens, right in the heart of New York City where, of course, the Trump empire was built, but a lot of people don't like Donald Trump. Yeah. He's much more comfortable in Florida these days. So he's being very defiant. But he could, I mean, it, it, as you say, he doesn't think it's a criminal matter. It is technically a criminal charge. because it's, it's how he used electoral funds, isn't it, to, to allegedly pay off Stormy Daniels. There is technically a prison sentence at the end of this if you're found guilty, although people aren't really predicting, are they, that... Because if it happens in April... It's not impossible that he could be given a prison sentence before November. It's highly unlikely. Yeah. It's most likely to be 
a big slap on the wrist, a huge fine, another one just to add to his uh, mounting legal bills. Let's not forget he also owns, owes E. Jean Carroll 93 million for his proven yeah. defamation. So I doubt it will result in a prison sentence. And you never know, he might actually get off. We're all acting as if he's bound to be found guilty. But, you know, he's going to meet a jury of his peers and we'll have to see. By the way, something else is now happening today, which is that his uh, media company, which includes Truth Social, his um, social media platform, is going on the Nasdaq exchange today and could net Donald Trump in a in the course of a few months, three billion dollars. In which case, all his financial woes oh are probably God. over. This gets this, this gets stated a lot, um, Sarah. But you're a good position to reflect on this. That uh, you know, you just mentioned some of the things. It's so hard to keep track on on what he's facing. But you know, he's been found in a civil court to have sexually assaulted someone. He's then libelled her. That's to pay her pay her money. He's accused of paying hush money to a porn star using electoral funds. He's accused of inciting a riot effectively against the American Constitution on January the 6th. He's, he's, he's been proven to have overinflated his, um, his own wealth and his own business dealings, fraud in essence. Any one of those things, even a fraction of one of those things in this country, would mean you can never be a politician again. You have no chance. You'll completely be on the pale. It is striking. I know we're so used to it, but it's striking that all of these things can accumulate and he's still basically the favourite to be the next president. Well, is he? Oh, so yeah. The, yeah, yeah, good point. The latest figures show that Joe Biden is rising almost imperceptibly. But he is rising in the polls. And Donald Trump, for the first time is be uh, in, in a while now, is beginning to sink, according to the Economist's poll of polls, is beginning to sink just below Joe Biden. And some clever people think that this is the start of a downward trend. But of course, <laughs> a lot can happen in the next few months. And plenty of people think that Donald Trump is the one who's got it in the bag, not Joe Biden. But it really is very unpredictable how this is going to play out. It's already broken all the bounds of normality, as you rightly pointed out. We've never gone into an election in America with a, a former president facing this level of both criminal and civil cases. And it's ex absolutely extraordinary how his most ardent supporters have just doubled down yeah. on supporting their man. The nation of the double down, breaking normality. It's US politics. Quadruple down. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's unbelievable, really. It's Sarah Baxter there, who's great. And she lives in America now and can really reflect on the madness as we get closer and closer to November. So the trial starts on April the 15th. He could be found guilty of another thing. Will it stop him? No. No, no, it won't. <laughs>